another ration review today. This one is a little bit interesting. This is a mil spec made in the USA, menu number three, beef stew, complete meal ready to eat, produced by the Warneck Company. This is actually the precursor to Warneck's current civilian ration offering, the Eversafe Mill is sort of their version of an AmeriQual APAC. The bag that it's in is a little bit different from a normal MRE bag. It's a thinner plastic. It reminds me a lot of the plastic on the Chinese rations. It has a retail display hook notch there. It's 13.3 ounces or 376 grams. And this total package comes up to 870 calories, 119 of which are from carbohydrates, and it has a whopping 1,400 milligrams of sodium, 31 grams of protein though, which is pretty good. They give you all the ingredients for everything contained on the inside. And then it has a little write up about what this actually is. For any outdoor activity, hiking, hunting, fishing, camping, boating, or for emergency storage, the Milspec ration is the perfect choice for a tasty, nutritious, away from home meal. Utilizing the same technology as the meal ready to eat MRE, we produce for American soldiers in the field, the Milspec ration is designed to be a stable, reliable, complete, ready to eat meal without the need for preparation or refrigeration. The entree may be eaten cold or for a hot meal, simply place the unopened entree pouch in boiling water for five minutes. Either way, you get a full nutritious and delicious meal in one easy to carry bag. So I guess that means there's not gonna be an included FRH. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what they actually include. I think we'll try to use this little tear notch. And that was fairly easy. There doesn't appear to be very much in the package. Right on top, a beverage base powder orange. Data code on this, 9005. Wow, this is kind of cool. Oatmeal cookie chocolate covered. And this is an old school MRE item. I'm not sure what year they stopped putting these in US MREs, but the chocolate covered cookies were pretty prevalent in the early days. They go all the way back into the brown bags. And I think they carried over into the 90s. That seems tightly vacuum packaged, so hopefully that held up well. There's a one ounce pack of strawberry jam, a tightly vacuum packed pack of MRE crackers. There's the box for the main entree, beef stew, pretty long ingredients list. It's a standard eight ounce pack. That was packed by Warneck. Can't really go wrong with beef stew. It is a tried and true MRE menu. There's a look at our retort. It's sort of a green color, but it looks fairly standard and in good shape. They included a little accessory pack. Let's see what's in here. So there's a pretty flimsy little spoon, a lemon scented moist towelette. This is a little odd for a civilian packed MRE. Usually matches are not included, but they did put a pack of matches in there. DD Bean and Sons, just like the US military MREs are. Pack of Spearmint MRE chewing gum. And they did include a little pack of ionized salt, even though I think this menu is gonna have plenty of sodium. So it's not very much food, but it is a little complete meal, including a drink mix. So that's not too bad. I'll get the retort pouch, put on to boil, and we'll get everything else plated up. So let's get this orange beverage base powder going. That package has a tear notch. The powder is actually really light in complexion. Has a little bit of a chemical smell, but not too much different from what you would expect from any orange beverage base powder. It's in perfect shape. This calls for 12 ounces, just like a standard US MRE beverage base. And right away, it started emitting a very orange smell. It has sort of that artificial tangy scent to it. That mixed up quite well. Let's take a look at these crackers. Those were still under vacuum. Oh man, these crackers look good. They're a little bit toasty looking. They're not so pale. These are definitely different from what you get from your normal MRE, yeah. These look good. Oh, they smell different too. They smell a lot more like bread than a standard MRE cracker does. They're not so pasty white. They're a little bit toasted on the edges. Those should be very nice. Let's take a look at this strawberry jam. Oh, uh, there's some liquid in there. It's a little bit dark looking. Let's put some of that on the spoon. Has a few little flakes of plant matter in there, but it looks pretty good. Doesn't really smell like much. Let's give that a taste. Mmm, nice and sweet. Still tastes like strawberry. In my experience, strawberry jam actually gets better with age. Once you get one that's past five or six years, getting its way on to about 10 years old, this stuff really comes into its best, I think. I'll go ahead and put some of this on the cracker. It's sort of coming out in these weird little chunks. I think the majority of the juice was right there in that first squeeze I did. That's looking pretty good. And this oatmeal cookie chocolate covered. I didn't hear any kind of vacuum or anything on that. And man, is this thing shiny. Look at that. It is so freaking shiny. I can almost see myself in it. Has some nice density to it. For the size, it weighs a lot. It smells good, chocolatey, and it still smells like pretty good chocolate, actually. You can tell that this is definitely has some heat stabilizing stuff in it. Before we eat, let's clean up a little bit with our 
lemon scented moist towelette. That doesn't smell like lemon to me. This smells like a baby wipe. It's still nice and moist though, even after all this time. This is a pretty nice little inclusion. Let's get a sip of our orange beverage based powder. Quite a bit more clear now than it was earlier. It's actually a little bit tangy. This might be able to use a little bit more water actually. Now I'm not a huge orange beverage based powder person, but this one's actually pretty good. It's the sourness that it has that I'm liking. It's sweet as well. It has a little bit of an astringency, sort of that mouth drying out feeling that you'll get with really bitter things. Although it doesn't taste bitter, it does give your mouth that feel. I'm sure that's coming from some kind of chemical. I want to taste a piece of this cracker all by itself. That had an awesome snap. Look at that up close. Let's taste that. Extremely crunchy. Mmm. It's completely different. I've never had an MRE cracker exactly like this before. It's a little bit hard to describe. It's very toasty, which I really like. Of course, it's super dry and dries your mouth out like any MRE cracker does. It has a snap and a crunch that's on a whole nother level for most MRE crackers. It doesn't taste like a saltine. It tastes like its own thing. It has a deepness, like a richness of flavor that most MRE crackers don't have. And this is actually one of the best MRE crackers I've ever tasted. I wish I knew what that was. It's very deep and complex as far as crackers go. Fantastic. I wish I could get my hands on some more of those. While I was grabbing the main, I also grabbed a standard pack of US MRE crackers for comparison because I couldn't remember the ingredients off the top of my head. And they are literally identical. The ingredients are the same. So I don't know where this flavor difference is coming from. I don't know if it's just because it was cooked longer and more toasty and that gave it that depth of flavor or they're using a different mix of the same ingredients that's making it taste different, but they are most certainly different tasting crackers, even though the ingredients are literally exactly the same. We have our retort for the main. Feels nice and hot after boiling it. Give that notch a little nick with the knife there. It looks like beef stew. Give it a smell. Oh yeah, smells perfect. Put that on our tray here. Good amount of liquid in there. Oh yeah. Of course, beef stew is one of those all-star MRE menus. Let's take a closer look at this. So it has peas, pieces of potato, carrot, a lot of thick sauce, and it has nice chunks of real roast beef. You can see it break into its individual muscle fibers. It's not processed. I have had beef stew with processed beef chunks before, but this looks like all real beef roast in this. Let's get a bite of our strawberry jam and cracker. Mm -hmm. That jam is perfect, and these crackers just make it, man. These are great. It's about 1 o'clock right now, and I haven't eaten anything yet today. This is hitting the spot. Whenever I do a ration review, I try to do it on an empty stomach if I can. I think that gives you a better idea of what the experience of the meal would be like if you were actually having to eat this under the circumstances of using it for an emergency meal or in the field or something like that. Let's try out this beef stew. Try to get a spoonful with a little bit of everything in it. Let's good look at that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that is great. I haven't been let down with the MRE beef stew yet. The meat's a little bit dry, but all that sauce makes up for it. The vegetables are nice and soft, but they haven't went to mush yet. It certainly doesn't need that salt. A little bit of black pepper would probably be pretty nice. That's good stuff. Made even better by being like piping hot from boiling it. I could shovel that whole compartment down my gullet without stopping, but I think we need to try some of this on a cracker before I eat it all. There's a little bit on the cracker there. Oh yeah. Man, these crackers are great. I'm kind of sad because there's a good chance that I'll never have this particular MRE cracker again. This might be my only experience with it. I mean, this is a heck of a lunch so far. Well, I've tried basically everything except for our oatmeal cookie chocolate covered. Let's break this open. You can see the thickness of the chocolate around the cookie center. It's almost a one-to-one -one ratio. It's emitting a sweet chocolatey aroma. Give that a bite. Oh man, yeah. Now that is freaking good. That chocolate is a little bit waxy. It has sort of that heat stabilized chocolate flavor. I've tasted this before, but this one is way fresher. It's crunchy and it's sweet and it has a sort of luscious, melty chocolate feel when that waxy chocolate starts melting down from the heat inside of your mouth. That is outstanding. While they quit putting this in MREs, I will never know. Oatmeal cookie chocolate covered absolutely hits it out of the park. Well guys, that was the Mill Spec Ration Meeting number three, beef stew from the Warnet Company. I'm not sure how much these were when they were introduced on the market, but this was a really nice civilian ration. One of the better ones I can remember having. Every individual component was absolutely perfect even after all these years. Everything was extremely tasty and seemed like it was equal quality to that of a military MRE, whereas some commercial produced rations are definitely lacking in the seasoning department and they maybe use lesser quality ingredients. Everything in here seems legit good quality ingredients for what you're getting in a ration and i can't wait to go ahead and finish the rest of this up thanks so much for watching guys this has been ration rewind the series in which i'm reposting my old ration reviews from my first youtube channel if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up to help it out with that google algorithm and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to catch all of my future 
ration content. This is the one-stop shop for MRE-related content, old and new, foreign and domestic, military and commercial. We do it all here on Readiness Rations. Be sure to drop me a comment and check out my social links down in the description of this video. And I will be back with a new video for you guys next week. Until then, I will catch you in the next video. See you then. Peace.